I've known Sean Hannity, been a friend of his for a long, long time, and uh, and you and I are friends. I consider us friends, and uh, you guys had uh, had it out on Twitter, which is good. I do that with, with people too. Uh, let, let, let's yeah. just put up uh, just a couple, of, well, one exchange anyway. Um, and here you tweet out. Unfortunately, his first ten. You're talking about Trump. His first ten days have left me more convinced than ever. Uh, that at POTUS will be a bad and failed POTUS, but good court appointment. And then Hanny, uh, Sean tweets out, no thanks to you, Bill, maybe time to man up and admit you were wrong about POTUS. I won't hold my breath tonight. Uh, happened in spite of you, meaning the court appointment. So, so, so f f first of all, why, why are you convinced in 10 days that, that he will be a, uh, a, a failed president? So just to be fair, I mean, I think Sean started it, and I was responding to his tweet, which is why I really wasn't thinking much about Sean Hannity. And I wasn't thinking much about relitigating people's positions from October. But I do think, it's, I mean, for some reason, he really wants to, you know, say that those of us who couldn't speak for Trump uh, on November 8th have, like, have still have to apologize and come calling and begging, I suppose, for forgive forgiveness from Sean Hannity or maybe from Donald Trump himself. I think he's had – the appointment was an excellent appointment, of course, such and it – I give him full credit for it, and I'm going to, you know, do, we'll do everything we can through the senators and make the case for him and uh, embarrass Democrats who praised him, to, who are now going to turn against him and uh, cite the uh, honest, some honest liberal law professors who've praised him, which is really a good thing. Um, I think his first 10 days apart from this has been pretty bad, undisciplined, no sense of a White House that's got any uh, order, uh, putting out executive orders, uh, clearing it with the relevant cabinet agencies and secretaries. I mean, I'm pretty getting obsessed with crowd size and then with the three million missing voters and one thing, and then whether he did or didn't say it was a, a ban on certain immigrants. I mean, he's just got to get beyond this and be serious about governing. So yes, I'm, yes. Uh, but, but, so I don't think he's yeah. going to, and therefore I don't think he's going to end up governing very successfully. But hey, I'm happy to take the good court appointments, and I've always thought that was the strongest case for voting for Trump, and I'm perfectly willing to say that the people who did vote for Trump for that reason, that this certainly was a, you know, this this was a great it was great that he came through on this appointment.